To explain to viewers the importance of conformation and function as it relates to the gypsy horses is Wayne Hipsley from Lexington, Kentucky. Wayne has over 50 years of experience in the equine industry in a wide variety of consulting capacities and has held a variety of educational seminars in many different countries. Wayne has worked as a coordinator and instructor to educate and license horse show judges and has been a tireless proponent of breed education for many breeds around the world. We're going to talk about how to evaluate and assess a Gypsy Vanner horse today. Not only uh, their conformation, but also their personality. You can tell by a sense of curiosity that we have uh, with this horse. He certainly is a very docile and friendly animal. This is a four-year-old stallion, and uh, it's the type of horse that we would definitely like to see breeding mares. He has the quality and overall conformation structural correctness that we want to see, and we're going to talk about that. Generally speaking, you want to look at conformation of the horse in the overall image, from top to bottom, front to rear. You want to gather an impression as to what this horse impresses you with, what qualities impress you. With gypsies, we want to look at feather, the forelock, the profuse tail, and other features. And we also want to look at the feathering on the horse, which starts above the knee in this particular case on the forearm going down the back of the cannon and then covering the hooves. And you'll notice that we see the same thing front and rear. We want to see a large bushy tail on the horse. And as we move the tail to the side, we can begin to see that the feathering on the hind legs is not quite as high, but still of sufficient quality. So those are just a few of the key points that we want to see on a Gypsy Vanner horse that helps distinguish it from other horses.